since the wise men looked at the stars and found their way to Jesus can people today look at the stars and get guidance about life guidance about god what is your take on this pastor wow, wow. <laughs> this is a very good question because today as in the time past and especially living in a country like india where horoscopes are consulted when two people have to get married and even the wedding time depends on you know what is a good time bad time based on the planetary movements uh we live in a world like that where many people do believe that our future our life could be connected to the movement of the stars but the bible is very clear that we are to trust in god rather than try to study the movement of the stars to decide on our life now god seems to have worked with them in some way and we don't yet know whether they were astrologers or what but god worked with them that does not mean it gives a sanction for us to go into astrology for example many things that are described in the bible which are not prescribed <laughs> so uh, description is not prescription david how many women did he have i'm not calling them wives several okay and yet because he was called the man after god's own heart does it mean it's okay to have more than one uh, but of course we know the story god worked with him 3000 years ago in that period an iron age king god tolerates the nonsense that is there even with david but he does not tolerate the nonsense when david takes somebody else's wife so whenever the bible says something we have to be very careful we don't say it's in the bible so we can follow no we don't follow the bible that way we follow jesus i like to say this in this way we don't follow the bible we follow jesus and the bible helps us to follow a jesus so i think there are sufficient passages in scripture that will uh, forbid god's people uh, to go after astrology or stars and things like that rather we trust in the god who made the stars <laughs> <laughs>